Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mahmood here. Today's lesson is on fractional indices and fractional negative indices. In my previous video, we had a look at negative indices. So if we had a question like 5 to the power of minus 1, we wrote it as a reciprocal of that number, or 1 over 5. Over here we have 25 to the power of half, so that will give us square root of 25. So when we have a power of half, we square root that number, so square root of 25. Okay, now this one over here goes outside as a power. Square root of 25 is 5, and we have power of 1. So 5 to the power of 1 is just 5, because anything to the power of 1 is just a number itself. Now if you haven't watched my negative indices or index rules video, please do check it out, and that video will also help you understand this lesson slightly better. So if you were to write a general rule for fractional indices, we can write it as x to the power of m over n, then we can write it as n root x to the power of m. So let's have a look at the next question, a to the power of a third, so the 3 will go outside the root, so we have a cube root of 8, and the 1 goes outside the brackets as a power. So a cube root of 8 is 2, and 2 to the power of 1, and 2 to the power of 1 is just 2. Let's have a look at the 125 to the power of 3rd. Again, it's same as a to the power of third. So you have a go at this question. So if you want to pause this video, pause it, and I'll pause the answer in a few minutes. Okay, I hope you had a go at this question. So we have cube root of 125 to the power of 1, and that gives us cube root of 125 is 5, and 5 to the power of 1 is just 5. Now with this one, we have 16 to, to the power of 3 over 4. Now we've got a 4 in the denominator, and from the rule we've seen uh, that the denominator goes outside as a root. So we've got a 4th root. So we're going to find 4th root of 16 to the power of 3 goes outside as a power. That gives us, sorry, that's going to be 2. Because 2 times by itself, 4 times gives us 16. So 2, and then we have 2 cubed, and 2 cubed is 8. With this one, we have 8 over 27 to the power of 2 over 3. So we have 3 on the denominator, so we're going to do cube root of 8 over 27 to the power of 2, or squared. Cube root of 8 is 2, cube root of 27 is 3 and then squared. So we square 2 is 4, square 3 is 9. Okay, I hope you done this fractional indices. If you like this video, please do hit the like button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. Next, we are going to look at the fractional negative indices. Okay, fractional negative indices, we have three examples here. Now, we've seen in negative indices examples in my previous video that we have a negative indices. We write it as 1 over 5. So that's an example of a simple negative indices question. Now, because we have a fractional negative indices here, we're going to go into the same thing. So we're going to flip 25 over. So 25 reciprocal is 1 over 25. And the write it as a power of half. Now because we flip the number over, we are going to change the sign of the fraction into a positive. Now we're going to do the same as before, as we've seen in the previous examples, we're going to find the square root of 1 over 25, so square root of 1 over 25, and then we have a 1 here, so 1 power of 1 goes outside. So square root of 1 is just 1, square root of 25 is 5, 1 over 5 to the power of 1. So 1 over 5 to the power of 1 is just 1 over 5. OK, 
Okay, let's do this one. 36 over 121 to the power of minus half. So you have a go at this one. So remember the rules. It's a negative to the power of half. So you take make it into positive, and that means you need to change over the fraction. Flip the old fraction over. Have a go at this question, pause the video, and I'll put the answer in a few minutes. Okay, I hope you had a go at the question. So we have 36 over 121, so we're going to flip it over, 121 over 36, and the power becomes positive. Now, we are just going to find the square root of 121 and 36. So let's do square root of 121 and 36. And on the numerator, we have 1 as a power here now. So we have 11 over 6 to the power of 1, which is 11 over 6. Here's another question for you. 4 over 16 to the power of minus 3 over 2. Have a go at this one as well. Okay, so let's say we have a negative power, so we're going to flip it over, 16 over 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Don't forget to change the power of sign into a positive because we flipped the fraction over. So square root, because we have a 2 at the bottom, so square root of 16 over 4 to the power of 3 because we have 3 in the numerator. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2 to the power of 3. So we're going to cube 4. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And 2 cubed is 8. Now over here we can see that we can simplify this. 8 goes into 64 8 times. The answer is 8. Now we could have done this over here as well. Or we could have done, could have done this over here at the start of the question. 4 goes into 16 4 times. So we didn't need to do all this working for this. So let's have a look what we could have done in a shorter way. So we could have just simplified 4 goes into 16 4 times. So we have 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Square root of 4 cubed. Square root of 4 is 2. Cubed is 8. Okay, so always look for uh, simplifying fractions. In that way you don't need to do all this difficult work. Okay, I hope this video helps you and please do consider subscribing and in the next video we are going to look at some exam style questions on fractional indices and fractional negative indices and also some simple negative indices questions as well. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths.